At a certain point, the trunk forms. It'll be the sort of like from your neck to your to your rear end, basically. This is the part of the embryo where your lim limbs will bud from, and a bud is simply just a mass of tissue that just sort of kind of emerges from the side of your body, from your flank. Okay, and what we found is that retinoid acid was needed for that process. Okay, so we call that, let's say, the limb induction phase. Now later on, after the limb gets a little bit bigger, a few days later, it takes several days, you'll then see something that looks like a hand, let's say in your arm, or something that looks like a foot on your leg. And uh, it was thought that retinoid, and that's patterning, I should say. The patterning is all of a sudden now, instead of just having a lump of tissue, you actually have a hand. You have a middle arm and you have an upper arm. Retinoic acid actually plays a, a different role in limb bud development than what was previously thought. So it looks like we can't say that retinoic acid has a role in patterning anymore. Uh, holt orem syndrome as something that we could uh, think about as far as what our research might relate to. Uh, this disease uh, actually affects humans, so it's a human disease that affects, actually affects it's about one out of 100,000 uh, newborns. And it's, it's interesting that it affects your four limbs, your arms, but not your legs, and it also affects your heart. Research then does impinge upon whole orum syndrome to maybe fully understand why is it that sometimes infants are born with a sort of a heart-hand syndrome?